Hi guys, David Fine here from Keys Moths. This is a Wacky Worms video. We've got a green Sphinx moth to talk about today. That's right, it's the Pluto Sphinx, Xylophanes Pluto. Awesome bug, you're not gonna be disappointed. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up and like it, share it, and subscribe to our channel. Become a part of our Keys Moths family. You won't be disappointed. Uh, guys, let's get to it. Let's check out the Pluto Sphinx. The Pluto Sphinx, Xylophanes Pluto, awesome bug. I just can't say enough about it. There's not many bright green butterflies and moths, at least here in South Florida, but the Pluto Sphinx is one. Uh, it's about three inch wingspan, and they, they're actually pretty common in southernmost Florida, down the Florida Keys and Miami-Dade counties. Uh, they feed on Hemalia patens uh, uh, firebush. It's, people are planting firebush all over the place and they love that stuff. So if you have firebush in your yard, check out those leaves and you, you probably find caterpillars eventually. It's a green moth, a mottled green and brown markings on the forewings. The hind wing is like a go big gold yellow band and a, and a black band there. Uh, on the underside, it's, it's green and it's got all these metallic gold coloration on the underside. Gorgeous moth through and through. Uh, Fantastic bug. This species can be found commonly in the Keys. Uh, they, they're in South Texas as well, and you can find them all throughout Central and South America. But they're also in the Caribbean, and it's just a common widespread American tropics moth. Uh, but we, we sure love them here in South Florida. The larval host plants are actually milkberry, or chiacocca species. And as we said, uh, firebush, Hemalia patens, they seem to really love that stuff. The eggs are round and cream colored and laid on the undersides of the leaves. Uh, caterpillars hatch out and they've got two main color forms. There's a green form and a dark brown form and they are incredible snake mimics. Very cool bugs. Uh, they'll hang up, they rest on the mid rib of the, of the leaves of the plants and they've got these big false eye spots. They look like a, a snake very cool snake mimic, and they've got that very typical curved, sphinged horn on the back end of the caterpillar. Very cool bug. When the caterpillar is ready to make its chrysalis, it'll crawl down off the host plant into the dirt and bury itself, or in the, at least in the leaf litter, and make a little cocoon for itself there and pupate underground. They'll emerge within two to three weeks after, after pupating. Uh, moths can be found uh, throughout the entire year in South Florida and every month of the year. Uh, they've been found throughout the entire Florida Keys on every island of the Florida Keys, but they're actually less common on the mainland than they are in the Keys. They're absolutely abundant in the Florida Keys. Adults will readily come to lights and to flowers. If you put your mercury vapor or black lights down in the Florida Keys, you're gonna find Pluto Sphinx. You're gonna find them at gas station walls and shopping center walls and so on. Uh, they'll come to flowers. They love Himalaya patens, uh, the firebush. For some reason in the month of August, if you just go and find some firebush plants and you just look for leaves that have been stripped, like you find the new, new growth, uh, sort of the new stems, and they've got no leaves on them, you know if uh, Pluto Sphinx larvae is not far behind and you can actually quite easily find a bunch of caterpillars that way and they're quite easy to raise in captivity. So that guys, that's about all the time we have for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give us a like, we'd appreciate that. Subscribe to our channel, that's important. <laughs> Join our Keys Mods family. We've got a great website, it's www.keysmods.com. Uh, check out our website for a complete catalog of all 593 species of moths from the Florida Keys that we've documented so far, plus 100 butterfly species that have been reported from the Florida Keys. We've got them all photographed for you there as well. Uh, guys, check us out on Facebook and Instagram, and until next time, let's get out there and enjoy South Florida. Take care.